Praise the Lord, glory to God in the highest. We thank God for today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Um, you know, um, this is our eighth day of prayer and fast. I trust that, you know, we are doing well and we are holding up our end of the bargain with respect to the Lord. And this morning, I just want to pray. I just want to share a little bit on um, intercession. I shared recently with our intercessors at our church this particular scripture and I felt that it's it's good for all of us to know because I know a lot of us will be standing in a gap for our family, for our friends, for situations, you know. And basically you are interceding on behalf of, of others, amen? So I just want at this time just to read quickly in Genesis chapter 18. I'm going to read... Um, scripture here amen when we found this one and the lord appeared appeared unto him in the plains of mamre and he sat at the tent door in the heat of the day and he lifted up his eyes and looked and lo three men stood by him and when he when he saw them he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself to the ground so so abraham this is abraham talking here this is abraham be in my tent, the Lord appeared, and he bowed himself down. So he worshipped immediately and said, My Lord, if I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. So he desired the presence. He didn't want the God to go, but he wanted the presence of the Lord. That was his desire. Let a little water, I pray, you be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree. I want to say that an intercessor is also a servant. So an intercessor is a worshiper. So you worship the Lord. An intercessor is also one who behaves as if they are a servant. They serve. Amen. When nobody sees, they serve. Hallelujah. They stand in the gap. Verse 5. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort in your hearts. After that, you shall pass on for thee. For therefore are you come to your servant and they said so do as thou hast said he wanted to get something to sustain these men abraham hastened to the tent into the um quickly to sarah and said make ready three measures of fine meal needed and make cakes upon the earth and abraham ran Listen, Abraham wasn't walking, Abraham was running, ran unto the herd and fetched a cup tender and good and gave it unto a young man and hastened to dress it. And he took butter and milk and a cup which he had dressed and set before them. And he stood by them on the little tree and they did eat. Abraham served these men that he saw. Abraham did what he had to do. He was a worshiper. Amen. Abraham not, not, not only was a worshiper, but he, he served a yeah, man. And he did all these nice things and he stood in the gap for others. He, 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 he as we would see later on in the text, he, he stood in the gap for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, Hallelujah. I want to show you something. And the Lord said, it was 17, Shall I hide from Abraham what thing I do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be, be blessed in him, for I know him. He will command his children and his household after the Lord. They shall keep the way of the Lord and do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. And the Lord said, because the cry of Son of Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whatever they have done altogether, according to the cry of it, which is come to me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and stood towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. I want to show you something. Even though the men said this and turned towards Sodom, Abraham was standing before the Lord, so he did not move. Amen? He was standing in the gap for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, and he was facing the Lord. 
and you sing, Lord, hallelujah. Will thou destroy the righteous with the wicked? For adventure, if we find 50 righteous within the city, will thou also destroy and spare not the city? For the 50 righteous that are therein. The Lord said, okay, let's see if we find 50. Amen? Let's see if we find 50. And eventually, Abraham said, Lord, if thou find 45, will you still destroy it? The Lord said, okay, let's see. And then eventually, Lord said, if you find, um, Abraham said, if you find 40, they were not finding 45 and 50. He said, what about 40, Lord? He said, okay. Didn't find 40. He said, what about 30, Lord? Listen, Abraham was standing in the gap. Amen. Didn't find 30. What about 20, Lord? Hallelujah. Didn't find 20. Didn't find 20. What about 10, Lord? Abraham was standing in the gap. Abraham was a worshiper. Abraham served the man. Hallelujah. Abraham really, really was standing in a gap for the people. And um, today I know you are standing in a gap for many. And I want to encourage you. Hold fast. I want to encourage you, church. Do what you have to do. Stand in a gap for others. Amen. Have the right spirit. Don't back down. Don't throw any towel. Pray for others. Stand in the gap for them. And I just want to let you know, after Abraham would have, you know, worshipped these men as they came in and worshipped the Lord, and he would have treated them with respect and served them by, by getting water to wash their feet. That is one of the... the, the Paul marks of a servant, amen, to wash the feet of others. And, and, and after he sustained them, he went to his wife, Sarah, and said, make some food, amen. And do all these nice things, and he's still in a gap for the people, eventually. I want to scoot up to verse 9. And they said unto him, where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, we hold in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to thine life, and lo, Sarah, thine wife, shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door and was behind him. And now Abraham and Sarah was old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the man of woman. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am wax old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? Amen. After all I was said and done, I want to say the Lord asks a question about Abraham's wife. I want to let you know, and I'm, I heard a man of God said this, and I want to leave this with you as we close. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. And I want to say, that when you stand in a gap for others, earnestly, a pure heart, that's trying to help, that's trying to be that mediator, that's trying to make that breakthrough, amen? God will, as, as you worship Him, as you serve Him, as you do what you have to do, God will eventually ask you a question. What about your family? What about your son? What about your daughter? What about your... Your mom, what about your dad? What about your sister and your brother? What about your niece and your nephew? What about your grandchildren? God has a plan for them too. And he will use them and he will cause the plan of God to be brought in their life. He will bless them. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that the spirit of the intercessor will come upon you in this time. That you will be able to intercede on behalf of others. With a pure heart, practicing servanthood, being able to worship the Lord, amen, and stand in a gap for the people. God will eventually ask you, what about all that concerns you, amen. God bless you richly. I thank you for this time that you would have given to the Lord. I pray that 
you know, you have a wonderful day, and you have a sister Crystal and I have a good one. God bless you. Keep God first place in your life. Amen. Bye-bye for now.